This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, and it would be fabulous if you subscribed. It's easy. Click the subscribe button, and at the same time, click the like button too. A Kazakhstani has been arrested on Phuket, charged with firing at and injuring a Russian expat on Wednesday. Artur Letge was held as he attempted to flee the island on a flight that would have seen him otherwise escape justice. The Russian was shot as he sat in his own vehicle outside a local cafe, and it's been assumed that it was a premeditated attack because CCTV revealed the assailant standing in wait for his victim. The Russian was said to be in full recovery from two bullet wounds, neither of which were deemed to be life-threatening. In Krabi province, a British man faces some serious compensation bills. It seems that the man, said to have been intoxicated, threw a temper at his mobile phone and then smashed like he was riding through the glass front door of a building causing a huge amount of damage. All caught on CCTV, the property owner wasn't home at the time, luckily, but others were scared witless. He's now in custody, and finds a part will be coughing up for a new door for sure. And if your Thai friends are going crazy over mushrooms, it's normal for this time of year. Up in the northern areas of Lampang, that's near Chiang Mai, locals are out daily seeking het torp, a type of mushroom which is only found for a few weeks every year, and then only deep in the mountain areas. But they sell for up to 800 baht a litre. Tiny, dark, button-shaped and with a meaty texture. They're highly prized by Thais and very tasty too. Fires in the forest areas are often blamed on those who believe that the heat and smoke teases the het torp into growing more prolifically. Early mornings see numerous locals scraping back soil in areas known only to them and revealing a good supply that can be sold eventually locally for up to 600 baht a litre. They can't be cultivated in farms and only grow for around a month, then only in small regions of the country and are often described as Thai truffles. Wondering just how prolific the drug trade is in this part of Asia? Well, in Karat this week, four people were nabbed in a pickup found to be transporting 10 million pills in sacks all intended for the capital. With meth labs said to be operating on a mammoth scale in Burma and other neighbouring countries, Thailand is seen as a conduit for transport to ports, other countries and, of course, home use. All four were arrested quietly, as it's assumed had any escaped they would have been considered as potential snitches by their bosses. When the Crime Suppression Division of the Thai Police Force raided a casino in Ubon Ratchatani this week, it wasn't just the 45 gamblers caught in the raid who were left red-faced, but local cops too. This as the gambling den turned out to be just half a kilometre down the road from a local police station. Undercover officers carried out the raid and the local force may or may not have had advance warning. Either way, local media reports that half a dozen of those with high rank locally are being temporarily moved to other jobs. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, the fire service was called to a local mall after smoke poured out from one of the franchised food outlets leading to concern. With customers evacuated in a seamless and well-organised manner, no one was injured. However, those with cars parked in the building had quite a wait in some cases before being allowed to remove them. Patia police nabbed a handful of Burmese in an unlicensed karaoke pub on Thursday morning. The raid in the early hours found customers dancing and drinking and immigrants serving without work permits. The Soy Kopai location appears to have offered the company of those employed there and had no form of licensing whatsoever. And with the Met Office promising highs today of just 32 degrees, dropping down to 27, the real feel of 36 and the promise of rain throughout the day and much of the weekend. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.